Hello guys, my name is Sunrise Farmer. Welcome to my kitchen. In today's video, I will be making the honey, ginger and the garlic ferment. As we all know that our body needs fermented food for immune boosting. And guys, when it comes to that, both ginger and garlic, they rocks. So here I have a one kilo of a jar of honey it says pure honey but actually you can use uh, any honey of your choice yes for this uh, fermentation as we all know that raw, raw honey is full of antioxidants it's full of enzymes and minerals raw honey is full of taste and has a lot of nutritional health yes with me here are also some ginger roots i will be using for this uh, fermentation as we all know that ginger is also among the healthiest and delicious spices that is loaded with nutrients and bioactive compounds that both our body and our brain needs. Ginger contains what is known as gingerol. This is a substance with powerful medicinal properties. Ginger can treat all forms of nausea, that is early morning sickness. Ginger can reduce muscle pain and soreness. It has the ability to lower blood sugar and improve heart disease risk factor. Ginger is good for digestion. These are some of the benefits of ginger. And then when we come to that of garlic, garlic is not only used for adding a flavor to a recipe, but it has strong antioxidant properties. Garlic has what you call allicin, and uh, this is very good in the lowering of blood pressure. And I want to quickly say here that this is an eyeball recipe. This is not a recipe that you measure out the ginger or you measure out the honey or the garlic. This is just a recipe that you, you use your own instinct. Use how much quantity you want or you wish. And uh, here I have my jar, here is the honey, and this is the previous ferment that I had. And I've been making this for about two years now. So I'll be sharing my own ideas, my own experience about the whole things with you guys. Then, first thing is to get the ginger peeled. Get the ginger root peeled and cut into small chunks. And this is the garlic. You get the garlic peel in your own way and uh, get the cloves out of it. So I'll be sharing my own way with you guys how I do my own ferment. So let me know your own opinion about the whole thing and let me know how you do your own gam your own ferment as well. So I will be right back. So guys, right now the we are ready to ferment the the garlic and the ginger. I have peeled the ginger and the garlic are being chunked. But here I will be putting the whole garlic into my jar. I didn't crush the the garlic. As I said earlier that I've been doing this for two years now and I have never crushed the garlic. Some people actually crush this garlic. They cut it or crush it. But I do it that way and I find it so awesome. So that's just what I'll be doing right now. Put the whole or the or the garlics just that way. It's okay. I don't crush it. Then I will be putting the ginger on top. So, and I want to quickly say something here that when you are doing this fermentation, 
please don't fill your jar to the brim i mean like filling it to this extent this level i normally leave it here because after some days the this fermentation will start expanding that is to say the the honey will start getting liquefied and the uh, the ferment tends to not to contain the, the container or the jar any any longer and uh, that will be a sort of mess by the time you'll be opening your jar every day to bop it or to stir it so for that reason i will leave it i will allow this to be this way to remain like that i won't feel it i will not feel the jar because filling the jar will get the whole thing messed up so this is how I will leave it and uh, all you just have to do is right now you drench the the jar I mean the your your garlic this is how I've been doing it just get it properly drenched drench the jar Make sure it gets to the bottom. So, as I said earlier as well in this video, that this is an eyeball recipe. You don't make it's not something you make sure is a recipe. You just use your instinct or your so this is the way I have been doing it and it has been amazingly okay for me. I don't feel the, the jar. I don't normally feel my jar because the fermentation after a week or thereabout we start expanding and uh, by the end of three weeks or a month you find out it will be getting filled. It will be filling this jar and uh, it doesn't go well with that. So make sure your honey covers your ginger and your garlic properly. That's the most important thing. Because the honey tends to flow. The honey floats on top, the, I mean the garlic floats on top of the honey at the, at the end of the day. And uh, that is one of the reasons why you have to open it every day and make sure you stir it properly. The honey is lighter and uh, it floats it flows on top of the fermentation so the honey gets properly so guys this is a mixture of of garlic ginger and honey the combination of these three has a protective effect on the heart it lowers bad cholesterol it lowers blood sugar and the uh, high blood pressure it helps to detoxify our body it contains microbial, it contains anti-inflammatory and antifungal properties. It strengthens our immune system and it prevents us from, it pro protects us from cold, sorry. So that is it. Let me just show you guys once again. So look at it, you can see the, the garlic is already floating. So, but after a few days, but make sure you stir it continuously every day or at least two times, uh, I mean, if, you, if it's possible twice a day, make sure you stir it. The garlic will be going down after some days. It, you, you feel submerging. If it's submerging, look at this. You can see this is just only the honey at the bottom. It's just the honey here. You can see the garlic, the ginger, they are all floating right now. But after some days, when you continue stirring it, it will be submerging. And then, 
by then the the garlic and the ginger must have infused too much of the honey and let me tell you guys the honey will just infuse to right to the core of the ginger of the garlic and then this does what what else, another thing i love about this uh, fermentation is that the ginger never gets sluggy the crispness remains the same the only thing is that the hotness of the ginger reduces otherwise the whole thing will come out amazingly normally some people start using this between five to seven days but i actually start using it anytime from three weeks i allow it to simmer to get well infused for about three weeks before start using so let me quickly show you guys the one i did last time so let me show you guys you see this is the the, the garlic the one i did last time it tastes it's very sweet just like candy just like you are chewing candy you know this is the garlic you see i didn't crush it and then when you are chewing it it's like you are chewing caramelized garlic and you don't perceive that strong smell of guinea of garlic that's amazing thing about it so the ginger the crispness of the ginger will remain the hotness of ginger will just reduce bit it doesn't look sluggy and you can see the well let me show you with the spoon here you can see the the look at the honey we get liquidified after some times but the more it gets older the more stronger and sweeter it is so that is it this is the old one i had and this is the new one the one i just used. you can see it's already floating the ginger and the garlic already floating and here is the the bottom here is the you can see just only the honey but don't bother don't worry after this more you stir it more it submerges, and uh, that's the fermentation the ginger peels i will dry them right now so this is what i do so this it i'm blending it a very smooth powder Mm, smell it it smells so nice finally guys here we are with the ginger peel powder i made from the the ginger that we use for the fermentation so after blending it i try to make myself a cup of ginger powder so i just scoop a little and uh, here we are on it and then take a spoon from the from the same old fermentation as the garlic ginger fermentation i had previously and uh, i use them as a sweetener to my cup of ginger and that's it so here we are. Just made myself. Hmm. That's nice. Wow. It's so nice. So you don't have to throw away your ginger peels. After peeling your ginger, you just dry them, blend them, and uh, serve yourself some cup of ginger tea, put them in your food or whatsoever.